Hi again guys, back for episode 2. I've got my big bulky Singer sewing machine in the background because I just want to do a little bit of sewing. Here's um, the front cover for the um, Farmyard Journal, um, which I, this one I did sort of shabby chic. And I'm going to be doing this one here. So I'll do process this one with you today. But this one's sort of in shabby chic style. I've got um, old, um, was it this is from a hundred year old quilt that I've got little remnants of. So I've got that in the corner. And this is actually from, where is it? From one of the, the end, ends. Oh, I'll have to find that for the for the second bit um, from the papers and then just a little bit of vintage lace for the edging and along the back there so this is sort of more in the the shabby shaky style and the other one I'm going to make in more sort of like country style just because it suits the picture so we'll begin the process and I'll uh, show you how I made that now I'll put that just put that there for now um what i'm gonna do is i've got i need to cut um, a where are we oh an inch there's my ruler cut an inch off here now not much room with this sewing machine i'll move that after I've um, done this little bit of sewing that I need to do, and then I'll move it. Give me a little, a little bit more room. Oh. We're getting a bit of a cooking lesson today. Oh, look, I'm just going to cut it like that, and then and trim it again on the other side. I think. I might go over an inch. I like using this sort of thready stuff because this is going to be a little bit more of a country style. So I'll use that one. There we go. Okay, put that away. Now, this is actually from. Um, my um, illustrations so I've used the farmyard um, animals so I've got the sheep on that one and the piggy on this one so there we go just fray it a little bit there we go The one time you don't mind it to be frayed. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna sit down. What I did with this, I've got this pad which I think I showed you in my sneak peek, which is um, the Minte Farm Life series. Hang on a second. Sorry about that, my uh, husband and son. It's school holidays at the moment, so they interrupted. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the Minte by Carola Minte Papers, um, and it's called The Farm Life. So um, gorgeous little little thing. So I'm going to be using some of these for tuck spots. And so I used this paper for that one, and then I'm going to use that one. So it's nice both sides really it's hard to know what to pick okay now what i want to do like i did with the first one i'm gonna tear it i like the teared look I'm 
really hope I'm in frame. This sewing machine is a bit of a bulky bugger. Now, oh, it's so nice. Definitely more of a rusticy look. And then these, I just you just cut around, um, leaving the white edge, and then I just ink around the edge. I particularly like the piggy. I think he's probably my favourite. He's so cute. And it works in really well because it's a corn. Now, that goes on there like that. And I've got these, which I used in this one, um, which I've got a die cut machine and it just cuts, cuts that. So I'll ink, ink that. Now, used leftovers, even though I'm out in my studio, I can hear my, my uh, washing machine clanging out the back there. Now, use that, like the other one, so I'm going to incorporate the other side, because I quite like it. Okay, this is just... Um, actually going along the fly now I did have that other farm life one cut out but do you think I can find it oh my desk is so busy okay I think it might be on this side We've also got down on the farm. No, wish you didn't have that. Quite like that though. Okay. Oh, careful. Don't chop your fingers off. Now. That would have probably been a good one for that, but. Okay, I think I might have just snipped the little corners off. Oh my goodness, certainly make a big mess. Okay. See, improvisation. Adds a little bit of red to the picture. And I'll probably use the, down, the other one for one of the other ones. Now, what I really want to have that on there is like that. So, ink that a little bit. And down the top like that. I think that looks rather cute. Now, see, you just don't waste any little bits. Of your stuff I am found these which I used for my um, oh, which journal was that both my autumn glory journal and my the um, creatures journal the woodland creatures and I quite like it I don't know whether I'll do the three or Um, I might do get rid of this sewing machine and um, so ugh, bring that in hopefully you can still see oh there's a lock oh there we go and I'll just I just put it on the it's got this thread of leaves which is one of my favorite ones a little on the noisy side sorry people hope you're all doing okay 
can fast forward um, this part if you like. I might even give it a pause and um, finish. Oh, here we go. Now, put it on straight stitch. it and then I'll come back when I'm done. I'm back. I've got a bit more room now. Yay! Ugh. So what I've just done is just, just done this uh, little sort of a fit um a stitch with leaves and then just stitched all around it just to get a bit of interest. Now what I will do I don't know whether I'm going to put that underneath there like that I did on the other one. Maybe. Looks rather cute. Um, okay. Definitely wanted this to be a little bit more country. So, do that. So there you go. You're playing along with me. And I've got a little bit of this left over. Might be enough just to go along to say, give it a little bit of a shabby look. Not much. Okay, now, what we need to do is figure out, maybe I can have one on the top. And two down below. What do you think, hey? I don't know. Don't want it to look tacky. That one, I think, it looks a little better. Got these from a, a cheap dollar store shop, and um, yeah, they're not actually not too bad. I was quite surprised at how nice they were. So, yeah, I quite like that. Don't know whether I have it underneath or on top. Underneath. What do you think, people? Okay, time to do some gluing. Just got the old craft glue out. The only bit of sewing I'm going to do on that is just that bit. The old trusty dusty craft glue. Hmm. Oh, we we're going to put that underneath, weren't we? Better glue that quickly. I might just glue the edge just to give it a bit of a three dimension, dimensional look. I quite like having journals with a bit of dimension in it. Okay. Often it's autumn when they do the harvest, so I think having these autumn leaves on there is not a bad thing. Okay. Now I'm going to do the red first. And then put the brown one over the top. And then over the top, brown just matches. Okay, 
Yeah. Once you figure out where everything's going, it goes together pretty quick. Yep. I might bring those down a little. There we go. See, that's one good thing about using this craft glue. You've got a bit of leeway. Okay. Have it facing up and going like this. And that way and going like that. And that way. This I can probably use my glue stick because it is paper on paper I like it. Now, this will definitely need the craft glue. A little bit of shabby chic. Okay, and then have its paper on paper. This, but I will put a bit of glue on the edge here because I'll be tucking that on the top. Love my little piggy. She needs to be pulled down. It's hard to. There we go. Oh, so cute! As you can tell, I really like to keep things. Now, there we go. Now, what we need to do is, okay, I like having a little bit of that tatting on the top. Cut some of that off. And have the length. Yeah. Ugh, cut straight season. Okay. Put a little bit of the lot. And on the other side too a little bit actually. So give this a glue. Even though it's alright, I'm gonna do it with my fingers on the edge oh. on the last one it didn't quite leave enough so for the back well here we go a little bit of glue on the here get it while it's still wet yeah sorry about this people you gotta do what you gotta do get it while it's still wet hopefully won't leave too much of a mark now Glue on the top and on the back. So we cover those. Um, things. What are called staples. So they don't look too gritty.
Oh, bring that over. Oh, just like a bought one. Yeah. Yep. She don't mind the, the this wood on the back. It sort of really gives it that um, you know barnyard type feel. So there you go, two different styles. Uh, and if that's gone underneath, yep. There we go. Of the same type of journal. Now I'm just wondering whether I put that on there or not. What do you think, people? Hmm? Do I want to do that? Or do I want to leave it? I don't know. I quite like that. But I quite like that. Okay. I think it looks rather cute. Hang on a second. While I'm deciding. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. But I might have to have something right here and here. Maybe some buttons or something like that. Oh, they're yeah, really rustic. Have a look at that. Nah. I'll just stretch it. Okay. Put that along there. Using up my last little drig of this very pretty ribbon. Doesn't matter if it doesn't get quite go across, that's okay. It's all part and parcel of doing that. Oop, big long line. Okay. Well, there you have it. I'm really happy with how that turned out. It looks so cute. So we got this one and we got that one. Both farmyard. It's amazing. This one actually looks bigger. Ah, because it's got that extra bit on the side. There you go. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. And the next tutorial that we'll be doing, we'll be making embellishments and bits and pieces to actually go in there. Okay, thank you. Until next time. Bye.